we have a software solution provided from Tebis demonstrated here. What is occurring? So yeah, um, well, Tebis is a, a CADCAM company. So we're probably the only uh, privately owned CADCAM companies on the market. All our software is, is developed by, by Tebis, uh, based in Munich, our headquarters. Uh, we're a company called we're Tebis UK, so we're based in Coventry. Um, today we're working on a five axis Grab 350 machine, uh, demonstrating an aerospace component. So we've got a number of number of techniques being applied here, as you can see in the background. So a number of techniques for automation to speed up the process to make the part faster, so we can program it faster. So we're doing two and a half D, so feature recognition. We're doing some three axis roughing strategies, dynamic milling. And we're doing some three plus two strategies and also some finishing strategies, five axis using conical or barrel cutters, depending on the, the component. So you can see in the background that it's working away. And the reason why we have these different strategies is to improve and get the cycle time faster. So traditionally, when we're not using a barrel cutter, we tend to use ball cutters or maybe an emerald. But today, we're using our barrel cutter technique inside for finishing. So conical barrel cutters, what kind of reductions are you seeing with this new strategy? So we're, we're, we're sort of looking at around about 60% sort of reduction in the cycle time compared to your traditional ball cutter technique. Um, so with Tebis, the tools can be manage as an external library and these can be built up. So we have the ability to look after tools for turning or milling and we can use bespoke tooling designed as well. So Tebis can, can do milling, it can do turning, it can do laser, it can do turn mill, it can do reverse engineering and full simulation of the part in the background. So today what we did was we built up the machine as a virtual machine. We basically built in the limits of that machine and then we collision checked the whole component. The beauty about Tebis is it's not just a simulation package, we're also looking at macros inside the virtual machine. That will be as it approaches the job to the toolpath, how it gets there. So as you do a tool change, that's also captured as well inside Tebis. So, I mean, in, in regards to this demonstration here, this is a nice complex yeah. um, demonstration. Um, but what you're saying is you've got a solution for all applications, whether that be on a fifth axis machine, three axis machine, or even a lathe. Yeah, so Tebis is, a, um, as I say, it's CAD CAM simulation so and reverse engineering so we cater for a large sort of market within the UK so we, if you've got CAD needs we can help there if you've got reverse engineering needs we can help there if you've got five axis or three axis or two and a half D needs for the CAM we can help there same as laser we handle laser machines we handle water jet machines we handle turn mill turn machines so when, when you're doing complex components like this, um, the service and support um, is, is essential, isn't it? Because uh, you know, people may be scared of taking on such complex components. Yeah. So is it all backed up? Yeah, so we have a team in the UK as well as a team in Germany to back us up. So we don't just give you software, we, we, we will implement it as well. So we'll, give you, we'll hold your hand along the whole process. So we prove the post processors on site. So we'll come on site and test the post. We we'll test the virtual machines and make sure these work in harmony with your virtual machine and actually give you on-the-job training if required. And if, if someone's looking at this video and they're thinking about changing their strategies, looking to improve current processes, how should they get in touch with you? Yeah, so they can go onto the Tebis website and they can look on our website and the details there on the contact details, they can look for Tebis UK and give us a call. I mean, this is most certainly a fantastic demonstration that we've got here behind us. It's got doing lots of different yeah. features. Now, can you just explain the different features on this actual component that you, you're seeing here yeah so it's been machined from a solid billet of aluminium so all the way from uh, roughing so we've roughed the component using dynamic roughing or, or adaptive roughing techniques we've then gone some three plus two finishing strategies we've done some two and a half D drilling strategies and then we've done some full five axis barrel cutter techniques to finish the component and, and does it give the machine tool more longevity because it's not put, putting as much stresses into the spindle? Yeah, so we, we try and understand the machine as well. I mean, we try and understand how much pressure we're putting on the tool. So with all the techniques and all the simulation, that gives us a bit of information in, in that sort of side as well. This has been a really informative interview and, and it's been great talking to you, Phil. Thank you very much. No, you thank you.